Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and w continuing our look at the Wave 1 retaliation figures, we're going to come in with what I think was the most popular figure, the G.I. Joe Trooper. We've had Steel Brigade, we've had the Green Shirts, th and we've had the Pit Troopers. This continues the recent lineage of G.I. Joe based troop builders. Lots of accessories heavily articulated I mean this guy is when you see him you, you'll know uh, this is really a great figure you know there is one itty bitty flaw with him but we'll get to that in the review so front back cross sell let's get to it okay we're gonna start off taking a look at the figure proper as you can see without his accessories he can stand and unfortunately this is really the only time I can get him to stand is when he has nothing on him um, that's because he doesn't come with a, a figure stand and his accessories of which there are a lot kinda of weigh him down um, Marauder, but I'm just gonna say real quick Marauder John and I think a couple other places sell custom Joe stands visit them pick up a set you'll be fine now to get a look at this guy he does have that drab olive military green he has some uh, silver highlights here on his um, knees nice textured black vest unfortunately some of the um, detailing is lost on uh, due to the lack of paint um, right out of the box he does have um, a double sheath on his right hip with two removable knives. We'll get to those uh, when we get to the accessories. Um, let's pause for a moment so we can come in for articulation. Before we begin the articulation, I just wanted to point out the blue highlights in his neckerchief and visor. That will come into play a little bit later. And uh, I did come in closer so maybe you can see more of that great molded in detail but for articulation head is on a ball joint full left and right down and up um, slightly limited by the helmet but he does have a alternate head that's bare that will allow a little more of a neck movement swivel at the arms forward and back out to the side bend at the elbow rotation at the elbow rotation at the wrist and he does have the rocker wrist joints that can go down and up on this sand and uh, for the left hand they can go in and out um, sorta help holding his guns but you know again not overly so Rotation at the ab crunch can go back a little. That's more from the hips, and uh, no forward movement whatsoever at that ab joint. He can bend at the hips, out to the side. Double jointed knees, which give you that great range of movement. Uh, and then of course the ankle pivot, and very limited forward and back ankle articulation. Now, take a look at this ankle pivot and what they did. They sculpted the cuffs of his pants as part of his foot. So that's how you can get that great ankle pivot. And it doesn't look that bad when you're bending the uh, ankles. Now, this is something I've a few people have mentioned and have had a, had a problem with. This knife sheath does like to pop off and I did actually notice when I was taking him out to do this review it looks like it kind of warped a little um, there was also the issue that on the right side the arm cannot um, lay flat against the body some people might have a problem with that I'm not one of them let's take a look at his accessories okay let's take a deep breath because there's a lot here to go over First, he comes with this um, blue desert cloak or something. 
there are variants of the figure where instead of this being blue and being blue the part around his neck being blue it's actually brown um, I don't know if that's an actual variant or a running change um, from what I understand they were being found in equal amounts let's uh, then move towards the backpack here highly detailed there, and if you notice there's hol holsters there's pegs because a lot of this equipment can fit on his back for example the blue gas mask which fits on the alternate head which is right here I uh, actually couldn't get him to sit up right I think that's to maybe sort of disguise him as a Cobra Trooper not sure you have four pistols two of the, uh, made out of two different molds they each have their own individual holsters right here you can sort of have them draw it from the back I sometimes choose not to but they fit in nicely you then have an orange shovel you know for digging trenches or graves or whatever that pegs right there in the middle here are the two knives that I showed you earlier in the holster um, they're very small uh, thin plastic not rubbery but I'm not really sure they fit well in his hands you have to really play with them so I don't use them that much coming forward you have one two well actually two rifles and a grenade launcher this is of course a sniper rifle it does hold it quite nicely this is your standard uh, you know military assault rifle I do hope we see this a lot during the uh, figure lines because I do like it there are two slots up here that the handles can peg into um, I'll just I'll tell you right now they're very easy to get in and they don't stay in that well um, a slight movement can shake them loose but there you go unfortunately there isn't room for the third rifle depending on what you're using but mostly most of the time you will have him holding a weapon um, I usually just stick with the two rifles and forget about the grenade launcher now one thing I do want to show you and this is a again a little negative nitpick what have you is this peg it's very soft plastic it's already bent a little and in my opinion it's a little too long going into his pack I've heard of people going ahead and trimming it I do not do that I do not um, modify my toys frankly the way they come is the way I think they should be and if they're not that's a bad on the designers or the people who make them not me I mean if I wanted model kits I get model kits so uh, let me uh, pause for a second and we'll suit this uh, figure up and uh, we'll go from there and here he is I did switch the heads out so he would have the gas mask on so we'll take that off so you can see that head on his body um, interest of full disclosure the putting the cape on knocks off the knife dual knife sheath uh, I don't know if it's just me or if that happens um, the cape is actually a very th harder plastic um, it's not it's also not something I use I mean I'll be honest with you this was the first time I put it on um, you can see though how everything makes him a bit back heavy I mean here I am I'm holding it and I still have to push him forward just because it wants to like fall out of my hands um, I do have him holding his um, the assault rifle he can hold the different weapons as well so uh, yeah let's pause here and I'll give you my final thoughts before we conclude I thought I'd give you a little look at how I usually display the Joe Trooper um, you know I have, have him holding either the sniper rifle or the assault rifle 
I have the grenade launcher here on the pack, but usually I leave that in the packaging because I just don't use it. And, you know, everything else. Don't use the cape, and I leave the helmeted head on. Like I said, this is a great figure that has maybe one or two minuscule flaws that really I only mention just, you know, for some air of professionalism. Is this my favorite figure? Not really. I think for troopers, I still prefer the um, Steel Brigade, but that's just me. There's a lot of articulation here, um, and I think if you get a stand, you can have some real fun with this guy. I, I bought two, but really I've only opened one, and I think that's about it. Um, but your again, your mileage may vary. Um, I try not to focus too much on the negatives because, you know what, that actually might just be my figure. You might have a absolutely perfect trooper that can stand on one leg with everything on him. Um, if you get a chance to find this guy, get him in stores. I almost forgot to mention that. This guy was going for crazy money on eBay when the line first got pulled last May. Don't pay 30 bucks, 12 dollars $15, whatever your store charges is fine. This is, this is a great figure, but it's not a $50 figure, at least not now. So uh, this is your old pal Chuck for the G.I. Joe Trooper. We'll see you next time.